So I'm trying to watch the new Overboard from 2018, and let's just say right off the bat, yes, I'm watching it on a free website. <coughs> Can't tell you which one. Just Google it. Um, let's just say it sucks, and you're probably going, why, why, why? Do I need to explain it? It sucks in this many ways. There's a lot of Spanish and no captions to read the Spanish to know what the fuck they're saying. If you, they, the, they think that everybody knows Spanish and that we would know what the hell they're saying. One, the person recorded this in a movie theater. One, I don't know how they didn't get caught. Second of all, it's the shittiest version ever. I've seen better free movies with better versions than this crap. Thirdly, the if you're going to share a movie, I don't know how close they got to the screen, if there was captions underneath and they didn't feel like capturing that, I don't know. But they should have, because not everybody knows Spanish. And people are even in the comment section bitching about it, going, we can't understand what the hell they're saying. They're talking a lot of Spanish. So it's really difficult to understand what's going on in the story unless you've seen the original. If you've seen the original, then you kind of know what's going on. But it's nothing like the original. The mother is a pizza worker and carpet cleaner. But yet, in the original, the guy does hardware work and that's it so I don't know but I think it's not very good so far and I knew it wasn't going to be good I knew I was going to judge it hardcore you can't never change the original and make a remake that's better so it just doesn't happen that way but I will be watching Peter Rabbit and I will get through this movie and say that I've watched the whole thing and that I really hate it because of the Spanish. Hopefully, by the time she gets the guy to her house with the girls, maybe the Spanish will stop. Does that girl look familiar to you? Yep, Jocelyn from General Hospital before they aged her. So, I watched Peter Rabbit today. If you guys seen that movie uh, with the Smurfs, or it's kind of like reality meets cartoon. This movie is kind of like that, but it's not even about Peter Rabbit. So I don't know why they call it Peter Rabbit. Because it's about two people falling in love. And technically it's about Peter Rabbit, because Peter Rabbit has to deal with letting go and letting someone fall in love where he can love her and she can love him, but yet she can also love somebody else that's human. And so that's basically what Peter Rabbit's about. It's a really good movie for kids. It's a good movie just in general. Um, I don't think I'll buy it, but there is a TV show of Peter Rabbit for kids, the cartoon one, that I think you should watch. It's on TV. Just TV guy it and you'll find it. That's pretty good. Also, there's a big, thick book of Peter Rabbit with a bunch of different Peter Rabbit stories. My favorite one is when the mom knits the mittens for him and he kept losing the mittens and she kept having to make him new mittens. That story is one of my favorites. Back when I was a little girl and my grandma, every time my grandma would come to my house to stay while my parents went on trips and stuff, she would bring the book and she would read one story each time to us while we go to sleep, before we go to sleep. And then I saw it at her house one day and I asked my grandma, do you mind if I borrow this book and reread it because of this or whatever and then she forgot that I had it she said yes and she forgot I had the book I was getting ready to return it to her and then she passed away so I'm like I'm keeping that book because that book means a lot to me 
I want to find that book in my bedroom and reread it and like show it to my nephew and show him how cool the book is and things like that and so that's why when I saw the TV show the cartoon one I was like oh my god I gotta watch that and I watched it and it was like reading the books it's like reading the book all over again with the short stories and I even taped or DVD'd a cop like recorded one DVD full of just different stories from the TV show so if I miss it I can just throw it in and watch it so when I heard about this movie Peter Rabbit I was like oh my god no way this this means a lot to me I'll watch the movie first if I like it then I'll buy it I do like it but the reason why I'm not gonna buy it is because I'm probably not going to watch it again. I mean, I got the Smurfs, the first Smurf movie and the Christmas one, and I barely watch them. I don't watch them that often. So if my nephew's interested, I'll buy it for him, but if he's not interested, I won't. Um, anyways, I'm going to talk to you guys later. If you haven't seen this movie, you should see it at least once because it's that good. Um, this quality is really good. The free version that I got, just Google, you'll find it. I can't really tell you. So, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm Bunny and Bunny, now leave me alone.